Hey, what's going on, Internet? This is Will from the Will of Gaming, and welcome to Season 2. This is the first episode, and I decided that I would start the first episode with a big bang theory. Not I'm playing with a big bang. Uh, I'm doing a top 30 E3 games. These are, of course, my opinion. Um, of course, you guys are probably going to highly disagree with a lot of the stuff on this list, but this is just my personal opinion. So if you guys are interested, be sure to continue the rest of the video. If not, then enjoy life and those who inhabit it. All right, moving on with the list. Number 30. Coming in at number 30 spot, we have Ratchet & Clank Remake by Insomniac Games, which is slated to come out in 2016. To advertise the movie slated to come out on April 29, 2016, Insomniac Games created a remake of the first Ratchet & Clank for PS2 and rebuilt it from the ground up to make what ended up looking like a fantastic upgrade that I cannot wait to play till next year. Just look at it, the graphics, fantastic, wonderful. Absolutely love it. Number 29. Number 29, World Final Fantasy. A chibi Final Fantasy sounds like my kind of game. This cute, fun game, while I don't have much info on, I do know it will feature classic Final Fantasy characters. No word as to how the battle system will be, but as the release date, all we have to go on is 2016. This game looks so freaking awesome and cute! Number 28. Growing up, Tony Hawk Pro Skater was a game I held near and dear to my heart. So when I heard Tony Hawk was getting another sequel, I was happy. However, I was sad that Neversoft wasn't making it. Hopefully disruptive games will do it justice, but given by their track record and graphically, the game doesn't look visually appealing. But I'll settle for gameplay and hope for the best. Oh, and there's also create your own skate park mode. So that should be fun. Number 27. The number 27 spot goes to a new game revealed at the Electronic Arts press conference, Unravel. This little big planet meets Max Curse of the Brotherhood. This game looks unique and different and seems to have very unique puzzles. Another game coming out in 2016. Can't wait to see more on what this game has to offer in the coming months. Number 26. Number 26. This Xbox One console exclusive indie title is a unique platformer with the looks of a classic 1930s cartoon. This game seems to be absolute must play for me personally. And then there's co-op. Big thumbs up to that. Once again, this game is coming out in 2016. Pity I have to wait that long, cause look at how good it looks. Number 25. An awesome deal. 30 rare classics such as Banjo-Kazooie, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Perfect Dark, and Killer Instinct Gold for $30? Amazing! Exclusive to Xbox One, with the original release date being August 4th, has been delayed a week later to August 10th. This game is $30, people! 30 games, $30! Amazing! Number 24 this explosive third installment of the Just Cause series looks to take everything I loved about the second one and increase it to the nth degree. Explosions, wingsuits, the grappling hook, and a big world to explore. What more could you want? Number 23. Normally, I don't really play on the multiplayer side of games, but I'm making an exception with this one. This multiplayer only game looks like an absolute blast and captures the Star Wars universe incredibly well. With the US release date of November 17th, you best believe Star Wars Battlefront is on my radar. Number 22. I thought the great 3D platform games were gone, but play Tonic Games, the masterminds of some of Rare's greatest titles, Ukulele is bringing the old days back to PC, PS4, Xbox One next year. With a very successful Kickstarter, which I donated to by the way, excitement is in the air for me. I can't wait for next year, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. Number 21. A sequel to the hit reboot of 2013's action platformer Tomb Raider, Lara Croft embarks on a bigger adventure. In this game, she is living dangerously, climbing icy walls, exploring dark caves, and death-defying jumps. More action comes this November 10th with this timed Xbox One exclusive. Number 20. The fifth installment to the Halo series by 343 Industries looks to be meeting expectations. Master Chief seems to be on the run, but from who? We will find out on October 27th of this year. With a multiplayer and single player 
co-op campaign. This Xbox One game is looking more and more fun every time I see it. Number 19. Trey Parker and Matt Stone are back at it again with a sequel for The Stick of Truth. This was a huge surprise when it was revealed at this year's Ubisoft E3 press conference, especially after both Matt and Trey said they weren't interested in making a game after the problems they had with The Stick of Truth. I found The Stick of Truth to be very funny and a unique game, and I can't wait for the sequel. Number 18. Yu Suzuki steps on stage and reveals a cult favorite was getting a new installment. Shenmue 3. I never thought this day was happening. It's coming out for the PS4 and PC. I am beyond excited for this title, but when I heard Kickstarter I was a little awkward about that. I mean Sony was right there announcing the game. Why is it getting this? Anyways, the game has met its goals, so that means that the game is coming out, but it has very high stretch goals with only 7 days to go at the time that I'm doing this video. Uh, so far, here's what we have. Shenmue 1 and 2 cinema shorts, uh, Dutch, French, Spanish, Italian subtitles, rapport system, skill tree system, Bayasha, Bayasha Village Expanded Mini Games times 5, Bayasha Village Expanded Infiltration Mission, Bayasha Village Expanded Additional Quest, and Bayasha Village Expanded Battle Event. And that's not even half of the list. Man, this game is asking a lot. Hopefully it's good. Number 17. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty jealous of other countries right now. Every country except for the US has this game released back in June. Us Americans have to unfortunately wait until October 16th of this year to play Yoshi's Woolly World. Though I refuse to import because that would require me to import not only the game but a brand new European console because Nintendo likes to use old practices such as region locking their consoles. Yoshi's Woolly World looks to, like a blast to play and is getting tons of great reviews and I'm glad for that. I just hope it does well given all the big games that come out around October. Number 16. This fifth installment of the Star Ocean series looks to be giving me the Tail series vibe. So far I like what I'm seeing and I just hope I can actually platinum this one. Number 15. I have never played the Dark Souls series and played very little Demon Souls on the PS3. But if it wasn't for From Software's PS4 hit Bloodborne, I now have to say that I am a huge fan and extremely excited for Dark Souls 3. After platinuming Bloodborne, I found that I love this type of challenge. Fail over and over, learning the patterns of the game really show the classic nature of what games used to be. Oh, nostalgia. Number 14. Woohoo! Another game that will be competitive! I love the Street Fighter series, although I do admit I'm not good at them, but it's still fun if I win. So far, the characters confirmed are Ryu, Chung Li, M. Bison, Birdie, Nash, Kami, and Ken have officially been revealed at the time of this video. Ooh, I'm so excited! Look at it! It looks so nice! And there's gonna be a beta coming out, so yeah, can't wait to try it. Number 13 Mass Effect, a beloved series amongst many gamers. While no gameplay has been shown so far, I am excited to learn more in the coming months. It's slated for a Q4 2016 release, but we'll see about that. Hopefully no delays. Fingers crossed, people! Number 12 Chronologically, the sixth game in the series, but who cares? Persona 5 seems to be very interesting, though not much gameplay has been shown. However, the little I've seen has me intrigued. With still no official release date except for the quarter 4 of 2015, release and it being July, I hope we see more very soon. Possibly Tokyo Game Show? Maybe Gamescom, anybody? Mad Max Fury Road was my favorite movie this year. So when a game was announced shortly before the movie, I paid it no mind. The stigma of games taking on movies and vice versa never seemed to go hand in hand. But I feel that this is everything I want in a video game, based on a movie. I want to play what's on the screen. And I know this game doesn't follow the new movie, but it still has elements from it. The desert, the driving, the action sequences, and it gives me just 
a Just Cause vibe. Oh, that's because it's the same studio. Mad Max gets the 11th spot because it comes out on September 1st. Number 10. Sure, sure, music games are so 2006, but Guitar Hero was a game I played for hours and hours a day. And with a new peripheral to learn and new songs to play, I'm very excited to relive the days in my mom's basement and rock into some tunes. October 20th, hurry up and get here already. Number 9. Come on, are you guys surprised? If I had Guitar Hero live on my list, you know Rock Band 4 had to be in it. Though the gameplay hasn't changed at all, it's pretty much the same thing. That's actually a good thing. Playing drums, singing, you playing the guitar, the bass, I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait to bring the old band again. My band was Saints Row, by the way. Number 8. The fourth Gears of War. A new story, and new characters, and possibly a fantastic multiplayer. Only worry, new developer. But that worry was eliminated when I saw the gameplay trailer. And now... I'm good. Number seven. Enslaved Odyssey of the West meets Heavenly Sword meets The Last of Us is probably the best way to sum up what this game is. A brand new game by Guerrilla Games takes the seventh slot because the gameplay got me that much. It's so good to take a Katniss approach to everything. Can't wait to find out more on this. Number six. When Kojima left Konami, Things got very awkward and very fast. Silent Hill was cancelled and Konami is still selling Metal Gear Solid 5. Well with that drama to the side, Kojima looks like he left them with a masterpiece. Graphically this game looks fantastic and the multiplayer looks fun. Can't wait for September 1st. Number five. When I was younger, I played a lot of Nintendo games. And Mario of course was one of the games I played. Whenever I was bored in class, I would draw layouts of levels I dreamed of playing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that dream has become a reality. When Nintendo showed this game during the Nintendo World Championships, I was so excited. Make your own Mario levels from Super Mario Bros. from the NES to, Super, to the new Super Mario Bros. for the Wii U. I can't wait to play this and just build a crap ton of levels. Number 4. Finally, Sony, The Last Guardian lives on and is looking great and it finally has a release date. Well, more of a release year in 2016. Hey, something is better than nothing, I always say. Hopefully this game is just as good as Shadow of the Colossus and Ico. Can't wait, I repeat, can't wait. Number three. Yes! The fourth installment for the highly successful Uncharted series. Nathan Drake and the gang are back in PS4 glory. This game is insane. Oh my god, so much action in this demo. Felt like forever. It's good to know the delay was worth it. We all have more to talk about when more news drops. Bravo, Naughty Dog. Bravo. Number two. What? I can't believe this. What just happened? <laughs> when I first saw this trailer, I was crying like a baby. I couldn't believe it. This will take years to come out, but it may never come out. But I love what I feel at this moment. More info is coming this winter with a ground up remake. I have worries like is the battle system the same? If not, how will it work? Is the game leaving a lot of stuff out to speed up the process? Will the drag scene still be in? So many questions I have. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait. Oh. Number one. Oh my god. Mind blown. Kingdom Hearts 3 takes the number one spot because I know it's coming out before Final Fantasy 7. Words cannot even begin to express how happy I am for this. Already me and my friends are chatting on how the Zayas Nord saga is going to end. Already a bunch of theory videos have come out, hidden messages in the trailer, the graphics looks amazing, the combat looks intense, so much information yet so many unanswered questions. Fans have been waiting and finally the game is starting to show. More new worlds in Kingdom Hearts. Hearts 2, Kingdom Keyblade, level up, 
The story looks um, to point to something epic. Hopefully we get an international release and the first Kingdom Hearts came out. When the first Kingdom Hearts came out, I was in middle school and I was following it every day since I read it from the PlayStation magazine and seeing videos on the demo disc that came with them. I was obsessed and then it came out and I played the game over and over again. Did the same thing for the second one, but the internet was a lot better since 2002. So still relied on magazines as well for pictures and stories. I would always tell my friends about it. I became annoying and you best believe I will be getting more annoying as more news comes. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to tell me your top five games from E3, please leave a comment below. Uh, comment below what you're most anticipating and why. Um, or just leave me a comment below. <laughs> um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy your day. Hope you guys enjoy your week, whatever you're watching this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye-bye.